Hey, what's up everybody? Getting ready to show you how to put ROMs onto your At Games Legends Ultimate Cabinet. Um, first thing you're going to need is, you see this thing over here called the Add-on Tool. You need to get that, and I will show you real quick where to get it. Um, I put the link, I got the link off Reddit. You click it, you download it, scan it for viruses, you'll be fine. Um, go up here, game title. Game title, the game we're going to be doing is Mortal Kombat. Now I'm doing Mortal Kombat because I've got a arcade one up, Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3. So somebody wants to tell me, hey, you don't own that game. Well, I got it right over there, so it should be fine. So, I mean, I'm going to show you some other games I got too, but... Well, let's just imagine I have those games, alright? Alright. <laughs> I'll be right back, and I'll show you where to get the box art and everything. Alright, I'm back. Um, let me show you where to get the bezel art, the box art, and the emulator cores. There are several emula emulator cores that you can use. Uh, MAME 2003, MAME 2010, MAME 2016, uh, CPS 1, 2, 3, Genesis, Super Nintendo, and NES. Uh, I'll show you a few of them. I have found a few others. Let me pop this up. Uh, here are cores. This is where I got one of the links from. It's uh, MAME 2010. Um, there's another one here. Dropbox, we got Genesis Plus Core, MAME 2003, uh, Super Nintendo, and Nestopia. Uh, I know they all work. I've added Nintendo, I've added Super Nintendo, I've added Genesis, I've added Arcade. Um, if you're looking for box art, you go to this link that I added, the thumbnail pack. So, you just scroll down. Nintendo, Nintendo, Sega Genesis, and then up here to MAME. You download it. It's going to be a huge file, but then you're going to get all the box work, all the box art. So let me pop this down, and I'll show you how to do it. I'm not going to unzip it because it's already unzipped, but you need a 7-zip. Seven, seven uh... Let's see, cores, so, name, box art, now all these box arts you can add to the game, the box art goes onto the main screen, you just keep on going down, uh, Mortal Kombat, See? Then it goes box art. And that's what it's going to look like in your system. Now, bezel art. I don't like bezel art. But some people do. So I'm going to show it with bezel art. Do, 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 do. Where is MK? MS, MP, uh, MK2, MK3, Mortal Kombat. That's what the bezel art would look like. See? Emulator core. Let's go with 2000, MAME 2003. Just click it. MAME ROM. Now, I'm not going to show you where to download the ROMs at. Because... That might not be kosher. So, M. I'm guessing it's Mortal Kombat. MK4, MK4, MK3, MK. I'm going to guess that that's what it is. So then you just go build package. Click build. 
It comes up as Add on Mortal Kombat. I'm going to save it to F, which is my thumb drive. <coughs> See, building, and it'll take a few seconds. And then we'll see if it works. It even says, UCE package file now ready. Have fun. Hey, buddy, don't tell me what to do. <laughs> All right. I'll be back. We'll see if it works. If it doesn't work, I'm not going to film it and add it to the video. I'll just make sure it works before I do it. All right. I'll be back. All right, let's go over to the At Games Legends Ultimate Arcade where I just installed Mortal Kombat. And we'll give it a shot. Here. So, you got the box art. You hit A. I hope you load, I hope you load. All right, it says save, load, and rewind functions are incompatible, but you got the bezel art on the sides, and the game does start up. So, let me give it a sec. Oh man, I gotta use two quarters for this game. Show it real quick. I know you're gonna have to reconfigure the, bu the joystick buttons. But, whatever. Fight. Ow! Get out of here. Worked fine. And I used a uh, MAME 2003 core with it. So, that works. No problems. Let me uh, go back over here. Hey, look, we got Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. That's a game where you save kids. Um, now, look at this. All right, got 1941, 1944. One sec, let me see this. See? Super Nintendo games. Act Razor. Act Razor is a really good game. It's RPG and action. See? Nice. Quit. Aliens vs. Predator. See, this game has bezels, which is the side art. I don't really, I don't really go for that. I don't know. I think it's just, I think it's going to leave a burn in if you leave it on the screen too much. Altered Beast, Genesis, Animaniac, Super Nintendo, RPG. Alien Syndrome, Arcade. So, I have 22 pages of games. That's a, that's a bunch. That's about 200 and... That's about 220 about. So, you can use MAME 2003, MAME 2010, MAME 2016, Super Nintendo Core... Genesis Core. You can even. I posted a link. You can even use uh, a Sega Master System Core to play Sega Master System games. And one sec. Let me pop this over. You can also do Atari 2600 games. There's a game called Mega Mania. It's a really old game. It's a fun game. So. Let me pop 
pop over here real quick. Phoenix, Popeye, Pitfall, Rampage, Road Rash, Qbert, Robotron, Rolling Thunder, Samurai Showdown, Shinobi, Smash TV. I bet you're wondering why I have one, two, three different versions of Smash TV. Well, one is the Super Nintendo version. One version, you can play with two players, and the buttons control the direction you fire. And another version, one controller moves, and the right but the right controller fires. So it's only one player, but it's fine. Look at this. Sonic the Hedgehog, Triple Trouble, Game Gear. Game Gear. So you got Game Gear, Atari 2600, Genesis, Super Nintendo, then regular Nintendo, Arcade. So... And again, I'm not going to show you where to get the ROMs. You know, Google is your friend. Uh, somebody told me that when I was just trying to find out this stuff. And I was like, why aren't you just going to tell me where they are? But it's fine. It's, they're easy enough to find. You go on Reddit. You go on Google. You go on a Facebook uh, site. And the, everybody's helpful. So, it's pretty much not that hard. So, if you can, uh, pre please try to... Hold on a second. Let me do this. If you can, please try to like and subscribe. Um, by the way, I stream games every... Basically every day. I stream Jackbox. I stream Fortnite. Um... If you want me to play something, if you want me to play something with you, I will. So, I'm adding these at games tutorial videos uh, as an idea of what else I can do. So, I'm happy with this system. I think this is way better than than uh, than Arcade One Up. Uh, it's well worth the money. I think it's great you can add games to the system. And uh, something else, which is probably going to be in my next video, is, you see this wire? See this wire coming out of my HDMI? I took the wire, and I hooked it into my Nintendo Wii. So that is probably going to be in my next video with me playing Punch-Out! or Dance Dance Revolution on this arcade cabinet. I'll see everybody later. I'm out. <laughs>